So how do we need to look at the, the unfolding concept? So we thought since it's unfolding, you know, like we don't want to concentrate only about us because it's unfolding obviously for us to exchange the inspiration and offer new ideas. But at the same time, we should be challenging the guests. Clementina has come back already. I told her the idea and she's come back with a beautiful design for the menu. She's done some really cute stuff like a little spoon. And then as well, yeah, at the front, there's going to be a nice design detail there. Dinner and the cocktails. So we just need to decide now what's going to go inside, right? You know, the aperitif to me is always the opener. It's going to set the tone of what the rest of the drinks will be. So we thought to do something in the adventures. So already at the beginning, they have the idea that it's going to be a little bit different, right? Indeed. Yeah. Okay. So for the first course, we're going to, I want to use the salmon from Ule. We had this idea for like a savory bellini, you know? So we were thinking uh, to make a bellini with parsnip and honey. The acidity of the champagne is going to be really nice mm -hmm. against the, you know, the fattiness of the salmon. Perfect. And we could put as well some nice caviar with the salmon, because then you Indeed. get that salty yeah. element as well. Maybe parsnip crisp uh, on the top of the glass would be like a nice, mm -hmm. almost understated garnish. Where are we going to put the rhubarb in this menu? We have to have a rhubarb. Oh. It's February, right? There has to be the rhubarb from the ocean. You know, if you juice the fresh rhubarb, and if you just drain off the water, yeah. it's going to be like, how did you get that color? I will keep the scallops quite neutral then. Yeah. I'll do scallops with a really white Jerusalem artichoke puree. Maybe just some bitter leaves and then some aromatic long pepper or something. Spit okay. roast quail, wrap them in lardo, marinate with rosemary. Really stick your quail leg into, flavored really strongly with rosemary, and pickled mushrooms. Pickled All the mushrooms. different mushrooms. Oh, okay. With a quail, you want something like a vermouth cocktail? For main course, we're going to use baby lamb from the Pyrenees, the milk fed ones. Right now, absolutely mm. fantastic. With the lamb, you would do some like a big red? Normally, it would be a big red wine, yeah. Full big red, red wine. wine yeah. A big red wine, in my eyes, would be an equivalent of a Manhattan. Oh yes. But why not always have the acidity, which the Manhattan doesn't necessarily yeah. do. Maybe a chunk of ice as a garnish. Middle, nice garnish and also so chilling. Set and you know, you, you can get a touch of extra dilution. Mm -hmm. I would do some beautiful honey baked apples, okay. and toasted hazelnuts, some nice bitter leaves, like a barbecue or an endive or something like that. Well, uh, we need to unfold, so Chris uh, use uh, apples. If you do apples, we're going to do pears. <laughs> of course, <laughs> makes sense. Basically, we length the pear or the V with the aromatic wine. Some fresh bergamot, we squeeze the essential oil from the peel from far distance. Wow, Perfect. so delicate. jasmine flower, so we have two different notes. Now, that's the thing. With the cocktails, it's exactly the same like with the food. There's so much prep which goes behind the scene, which people don't, you know, don't see. It doesn't necessarily look that glamorous. But, you know, you want to be looking at the drinks at the table. You don't want to be looking for them in the kitchen. Or what we've been thinking with Simone for the dessert, like dessert is the grand finale, you know? You want some kind of service theater there. So people think that the, this is going to be the dessert. Instead of being presented with the dessert, you get this little bowl inside, no? You have two small nuggets, like a, it looks like a golden Good nugget, nuggets, no? Yeah. Like the Mayan gold or something, no? This is real gold. It looks like chocolate, but it's actually real gold. In this. Anyway, so this is about bringing a bit of uh, service theater, you know, a bit of the artesian. You, Simone and myself, we walk into the room with like massive play jars. So even to confuse even more, for extra surprise, we should dress the table at the beginning, on the middle of the table, with Molinillo. So people, until the end of the evening, they have no clue what the reason why they've been sitting in front of such a handmade piece of wood all night long. Because it's going to be served warm, you can actually smell all the agave from the mezcal and tequila. So essentially the cocktail is the dessert and I'm going to do the garnish on the side. Where normally you would have the cocktail or the wine on the side of the dessert, yeah. I'm going to put my donuts on the side, yeah? Very pleasant. Yeah, it would be nice. A nice way to end. Sounds like a plan to me. So shall we go to the kitchen? Okay. to cook it. <laughs>